Why, Lords, what wrongs are these? Was ever seen an emperor in Rome thus overborne? Troubled, confronted thus, and for the extent of eagle justice, used in such contempt? My Lords, you know, as know the mightful gods, however these disturbers of our peace buzz in the people's ears, there not hath passed but even with the law against the willful sons of old Andronicus. And what and if his sorrows have so overwhelmed his senses? Shall we be thus afflicted in his reeks, his fits, his frenzy, and his bitterness? And here he writes to heaven for his redress. See, here's to Jove, and this to Apollo, this to Mercury, this to the god of war. Sweet scroll to fly about the streets of Rome! What's this but libeling against the Senate and blazoning our injustice everywhere? A goodly humor, is it not, my lords? As you should say in Rome, no justice were. Despiteful and intolerable wrongs. Shall I endure this monstrous villainy? I know from whence this same device proceeds. Shall this be born? Go drag the villain hither by the hair! Nor age nor honor shall shape privilege. For these proud mocks I'll be thy slaughterman. Sly! Frantic wretch that hopes to make me great, in hope thyself should govern Rome and me. What's the news with the Emilius? Arm. Arm, my lord. Rome never had more cause. The Goths have gathered head, and with a power of high resolved men bent to the spoil, they hither march remain under conduct of Lucius, son to old Andronicus, who threats, in the course of this revenge, to do as much as ever Coriolanus did. Is more like Lucius, general of the Goths. I now begin our sorrows to approach. Tis he the common people love so much. Myself have often overheard them say when I have walked like a private man that Lucius' banishment was wrongfully. And they have wished that Lucius were their emperor. Why should you fear? It's not your city strong. I but the citizens favor Lucius and will revolt from me to succor him. <laughs>